Hello, welcome to Knits Up. I am Knitter CNY, otherwise known as Mindy, and I am from the Syracuse, New York area, right by Oneida Lake. Uh, great place to visit if you ever want to ski, snowboard, ice fish in the winter, but it's also a beautiful place to swim, fish, boat, and everything in the winter or in the summer. Summer. I feel like I should be singing a song from Frozen now. <laughs> I'm a little uh, goofy today. It's a nice day. We had a major snowstorm Friday, which was incredibly fun to drive through to get to work, where I work about normally 20 minutes away, which was 45 minutes away with the ice and the snow. And uh, multiple accidents. Many, many school districts canceled. And I still went to work at the lab because people want their test results. Yay. So we got through that and now hopefully we'll, spring is getting closer. Today is March 4th. It's a Sunday in case I didn't mention it. This will be a short show. My neighbors are having an open house next door in uh, 40 minutes. So I need to button this up and get going. Uh, let me know how the sound is. If it's, if the sound is okay for you, let me know. And I'm trying a lavalier mic um, just to see how that goes. In case you're wondering, the top I'm wearing is Pucker by Norgon. And it's called Seductive Pucker on my projects page. The yarn that I used is Seduce, which is a, I want to say it's viscose, nylon, linen, and silk. It's a blend. And this has a puckering pattern that's right here like a gathered pattern uh, you can kind of see that there and it basically gives you some nice a nice neckline right there and it has a shirt tail hemline which means it goes in a, a shirt tail like a shallow U works beautifully um, I made this probably seven years ago it says on my project page that it was 2011, but it does make a great top. The sleeves are built into the front and the back. So it's two pieces that you seam together and you really need to seam them. You can't really do it in the round. You could, but it'd be a lot of stitches and a lot of more work than you need to. What am I working on? No finished objects, but I'm working on a couple of things. The first is a sweater that I started a few years ago. It's the Lion brand Curvy Girl Cardigan, cabled cardigan. And this is the back of it. Very exciting. And the yarn is Royal Heartland Royal Isle Tweed, which is a Lion brand yarn, which is 100% acrylic. You can see the tweed part in there. This is what the actual thread of the yarn looks like. Uh, burgundy and purple colorway. And this is a worsted weight yarn. The pattern calls for a US size 9 uh, needle, which I knit very, very loosely. And that would be way, 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 way super loose for me. So I'm using a US size seven and I'm using, um, I think it's a velocity needle, um, from Susan Bates. The vel velocity needles are Susan Bates answer to Addy turbos. And this was available right at my uh, local Joann's. I bought it with a coupon coupon. So this is the front and it has a cable on it. It has an eight stitch, eight stitch cable in a 12 row repeat. And it's just a really simple crossed cable. Um, this will be the left front right here. And I've started on the V neck portion. That's why this is going this way. And there's a very slight V and it starts in mine a few inches below the armhole. So it kind of is a wider V, but kind of shallow at the same time. Like it's not very super wide, but it's pretty easy. It's a very easy pattern. I'd say easy to intermediate. 
And there was a knit along a few years ago that I started this for because I had the yarn. I bought the yarn at Ollie's for like $2.99 a skein. And we were talking about this a little while ago that I wasn't sure that I had enough yarn because the tweeds are actually 200 yards a piece. And when I had looked at the pattern, I hadn't realized the first line said solids, the solids of 251. And I said, well, what am I gonna do? I might sub in this, I might try this. Well, I went to Joanne's, got a regular ball of Royal Isle, which is the same colorway without the tweed part in it. The color was way different as far as this is kind of muted and heathered and, you know, very kind of eh. The Royal Isle that they have out now is very sharp. Um, it looks really good. Um, if I was going to do it in solid, I'd probably do it in that, that colorway. Um, it looks really nice, but I like this. I have this color. So I had gone on eBay and there was actually an auction for four balls of this in the exact dye lot that I needed. So I bought it for $27, including the shipping, because I want to be able to have enough yarn to finish the shawl or finish the sweater and be able to um, have enough left over if I need to. And I have a cat who thinks she needs to join me. Come in. Come in. Up. 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 The cat who's uncoordinated. If you've never met her before, that's Tigger. Look in the camera. There you go. She's very relaxed now. She's my cat. Very cute. And she will be departing now. Thank you. You had your close up. No, I don't need your help anymore. Thank you. Anyways, next thing a pair of socks. And the cat is not helping. Pair of socks, patent scroy. And cat and cat tail. And a second sock. I'm using the old collage square needles that I got at Tuesday morning, and they were uh, 2.5 millimeters. And they were they were from several years ago. The cool thing about this is the this actually twists. Don't you love it when? animals assist you with yarn crafts. Yay. Next thing I am working on. Pardon me as I bend and remove said cat. Goodbye. Oops. Like I said, uncoordinated and unhelpful. Next thing I'm working on is the All for One Blanket by Yarnspirations in the Burnett Pop. I have a bunch of this left over from my goddaughter's sweater, her rainbow sweater. And it starts with a chain down the middle and it, you start, go down one part and up the next of the chain both sides and then you make a rectangle basically. So I'm starting out with the colors I have. I've made another one of these in sort of blues and greens and an orange kind of color. But I've got a whole bunch of this. I've got some, I think I have um, some other colors that'll work in here as well. But this is my bag of colors of leftovers. So you just basically go around and around and I am using a clover H 5.0 millimeter hook. Um, this is a comfort grip. It's got a little piece of rubber here that's very comfortable. And the cat's still helping me. How fun! I love my animal, but sometimes she loves me a little too much. <laughs> and then the last thing that I am working on is... If I can get it 
it up here. A sock. Pardon all the ends. We're kind of in the middle of this. It's a toe-up sock um, with reinforcing yarn. That's why there's black in it. And the yarn I'm using is Sunburst Stripes, Patton's Croy. Um, that other yarn was also Patton's Croy. Um, and all the Craftsy classes are free this weekend for some reason. They're trying to get people to buy Unlimited, Craftsy Unlimited. I'm not really interested in that because I own a whole bunch of classes. I only pick classes that I really want, but I am looking at the Susan B. Anderson Toe Up Sock class. <coughs> Pardon me. Just so I can do the um, beginning of it, which is a pretty standard toe. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use her heel or not because I actually own the, the um, Laura Neal uh, sock class that has different heels and toes that are available. And I think I want to do a toe up heel, toe up sock heel that's in her class. And I think is either the square heel or the rounded heel. And we'll try that and see how that works. But so far this is coming out well, and that's that color. I think I bought this when I was in Canada last year for the um, tent sale that was up there in the May, around May, the first, the big ball sale, um, as it's affectionately known, uh, not the regular tent sale that's in August, that's in Listowel, Ontario, which is in the middle of nowhere, and if you're an American, buy a cheap flip phone at Walmart when you get there, because if you have an American-only plan, like whatever cell service I have, which I need that name, um, you do not have a phone that works up there, except in the hotel at Niagara Falls, maybe. Um, my OnStar did not work up there either, um, but well, I know you're adorable. <laughs> um, so that's what we've got this week. Um, so me and the co-host Tigger are done with the podcast. Um, it's 12 minutes or so, 13 minutes. If you have any questions, contact me on the podcast group. Um, and yes, she was a shelter cat years and years ago. So she's 12. And she's adorable. Yes, you are. So anyways, she's not graceful at all. Um, so I hope you guys have a great week and go knit or crochet something and post your pictures over in the podcast group. See you later, guys.